back with Shades Off on Sunday morning at Monmouth Park. I messed up yesterday. The three-day week ending in Monday last week confused me. I got the bias stuff uh, all out of order. I apologize. It's accurate today, though. Yesterday, there were six dirt races at Monmouth Park. I thought the course played evenly style-wise. One and a half of the six winners were inside all the way. Uh, the second one, the five to one Eddie Owens horse, that horse was never really on the rail, though I'll give her partial credit. Uh, there was another inside all the way winner. It was a Claudio Gonzalez repeater at a short price. Four of the six races were won by wide all the way movers. I still think the outside was the best place to be. And the way this meet has been going, as the racing week continues, the outside gets better and better. We'll see what happens today. It's drizzling now as we record this about 10, 15 a.m. We'll see if more rain comes. On turf today, hopefully remaining on the turf, the rails are out at 12 feet. Last Monday at that setting, well off the pace horses ruled at all distances. Inside out trips did very well and wide all the way journeys were viable. Lee season turf horses though can change quickly due to use and maintenance. We'll see how things play today if they play. Angle horses for consideration underneath at least today include fresh drop down first time at this level number four keep on rocking and her rallying uncoupled barmate number one delightful Dixie in race three for trainer Mike Denny who finished one two on turf yesterday at big prices. Possibly uh, loose speed number one, Shimmering Leroy, and rest of first race off the claim number two, Callaway Peak in race seven. Bounce back candidate with an outside draw number one, awesome brother Bill, and aggressively spotted first time versus win winners number six, fun at the Ford in race eight. Showed more early spirit last out and could actually be helped by the cutback number two, Mystic Dreams in race nine, and bred to improve on the stretch out and putting blinkers on second timer number five. Redfield in race 10. Thanks to the players, thanks for the fans for participating at Monmouth Park for the 2023 meet. Thanks for listening to me and watching me. I'll be working the Meadowlands via video on YouTube and uh, on the website at the Meadowlands, I believe. Uh, check out that meet the uh, next five Fridays and Saturday evenings.